Hi all of my viewers today i will be discussing about dental surveyor it's one of the toughest topics in rpd so i'll be discussing this topic under different headings first i'll be discussing about the parts or components of dental surveyor 1923 ne corporation introduced surveyor okay now we'll go to different parts of survey so this is the dental surveyor the knee dental surveyor and you can see there is a vertical arm then horizontal arm then a surveying arm and here we can attach different surveying tools i'll discuss about each and every surveying tools here we are supposed to place the surveying tools this part is enlarged over here here you can see analyzing a rod is attached here you can see carbon marker is being attached here wax knife is attached okay you can even place undercut gauges also okay so various surveying tools are attached on the surveying arm and this is the cast holder and here you can see the surveying platform the cast holder can be tilted anteriorly posteriorly right lateral and left lateral using this screw okay i hope that it is clear for you so now we'll come to different types of surveying tools the first one is analyzing rod analyzing rod can be attached to the surveying arm to locate the undercut okay how we can locate the undercut that is explained in this picture this is a tooth this is an abutment tooth okay so if we place this cast over here and bringing the analyzing rod onto the labial aspect or the lingual aspect of the tooth we can see since the tooth surface is convex only one part is contacting with the analyzing rod okay or even the carbon marker okay the point where the analyzing rod is in contact with the tooth surface is called the height of circumference or the height of contour means the tooth with the maximum the tooth surface with maximum convexity okay so instead of this analyzing rod if we pass the carbon marker over the tooth surface we will get this drawing this line is called survey line i will discuss about survey line later okay now we are discussing about different types of surveying tools first analyzing rod second carbon marker analyzing rod is used for locating the height of contour if the analyzing rod is in contact with the tooth surface you can make out where is the height of contour and the area below the height of contour the line this line shows that this is the height of contour so the area below this line is undercut okay the clasp is supposed to engage this area i mean below the height of contour now how much is the undercut that can be measured using different types of undercut gauges undercut gauges are available as 0.010 to 0.030 inch okay this is 0.010 inch this is 0.020 this is 0.30 so we can place or attach these undercut gauges on to the surveying arm and if we place the cast over the cast holder we can measure the undercut in the i mean we can measure the uh, undercut now what is the use of wax knife wax knife is used in block out procedure what is a block out procedure we will see later on. okay and as i said earlier this is a cast holder